Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be making these mini mandazis, a nice delicious East African snack. So to make our mini mandazis, we are going to be needing some rapid yeast. This is what I'm using. And I am going to be using about a tablespoon of cardamom powder. I really love the smell the cardamom, cardamom powder give it. About half a cup of sugar. Of course, if you want to use a little sweeter, you can use more sugar. I am going to be using about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I have one and a half cup of milk. And I am going to be using a little bit of baking um, powder and I am using some um, cinnamon. I know this says the daisies, cottage cheese, but I have cinnamon powder on there. And you are going to be needing four cups of self-rising flour. Even though this is self-rising flour, I still like to use my yeast and that baking powder. And of course you need some oil, okay? Don't forget to check the description box where I will list everything I use in this video. So let's get cooking, guys. To get started, you are going to want to microwave your milk for about a minute and a half. We want that milk to be um, lukewarm so it can help activate that yeast. You don't want to throw it in cold water. So I am just cutting my yeast or that paper, that bag, and putting my yeast in a bowl. I'm using a plastic bowl. And now you want to go ahead and put that sugar. Let me grab something to whisk with. Sorry for the noise. So you wanna go ahead and grab a whisk and add that milk. Like I said, my milk is warm and the sugar will help activate the yeast. Just like that, and we are going to put it to the side, let the yeast do its thing, and you will definitely tell when it's ready. So now I am going to take the dry ingredients and mix them together. Making mandazi is so easy if you know how to do it. You guys know um, I go to Uganda, so I learned to make this on my trip to Uganda, but some people make it different, but I like to keep mine nice and simple. Actually, I'm going to start with half a tablespoon of cinnamon. Sometimes the cinnamon make them make the dough really dark. But I do like to use cardamom powder because I just love that scent that it give it. That, that um I can't talk that it give it. Um you guys know Ramadan is on Thursday, so um not Ramadan Eid is on Thursday, Ramadan is ending for my uh, Muslim subscribers. So even if you're not Muslim, you can try this recipe. This is just a mini donut type thing, but this is really popular in the Islamic communities in Uganda. And I am going to put about a teaspoon of that baking um, powder and I need something else to mix. I always seem to leave my utensils and when I'm busy, that's when I look for them. Again, I apologize. So I'm not adding any salt to this. So now gently mix everything so you don't have a major mess. Hopefully you guys saw the videos that we did when we unboxed that um, YouTube play button. Again, thank you guys so much so so much i mean we are just so grateful and so thankful with that being said if you are new to the channel welcome to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload guys you don't want to miss out summer recipes are coming out you do not want to miss out so mix everything i like to kind of smell it i know that's a little weird <laughs> But I like to smell it to make sure I can smell that cardamom because when I eat it, I want to be able to smell that cardamom. Just mix everything and set that to the side. So give the yeast a good five minutes 
and then we can mix the um, flour so we can make our dough. It's been about five minutes since my yeast have been sitting. As you can see what it looks like. And now what I like to do, I like to take about a teaspoon of vanilla, good vanilla extract. Not just any vanilla extract, but the really, really good ones. This one came from Haiti. Um, let me know how you guys like the quality of this video. I feel like I just bought this camera not that long ago. Sometimes it tends to look a little dark. The video quality is going to be a little dark. And now I have it set on um, auto. It seems to be a little too bright. I'm not sure, but I'll work on it. Hopefully I can get it to how I like. Of course, with clean hands, you want to go ahead and put half, half of the um, flour mix. I don't like to put all at one time because I want to have a little control of that batter or of that dough, I should say. Okay, just mix it. And of course, keep adding more flour. Yeah, like I said, guys, I try, guys, I try to um, adjust my camera, but it seems to be really bright because now that it's daylight saving, there's more light outside, so I can add my, I can film my videos a little later. But of course, there's more light now. So. Keep mixing. We want a nice dough, but you don't want it too dry. You don't want it too sticky either. This is Marcus's favorite thing ever. So I'm going to have to have him come so he can taste this for you guys. He's going to be my um, taste guy today. Easiest job in this house. <laughs> so we are going to use our hand to kind of knead a dough, fold it in as you are collecting all that flour. What did you guys do for Mother's Day? I hope you guys had a great Mother's Day. I know we didn't really do much that the day I did the live and we had went to a birthday party. So we didn't really have a lot going on. Of course, the boys always treat me with some flowers and a beautiful card. And my husband spoiled me, of course. But we didn't really went out to eat or anything. And normally we don't even go out to eat. I like, I always like to cook my food at home. So. We didn't even get a chance to do that, but that was different. That was still fun. We still enjoyed. I'll show you guys what the dough is looking like so far. So it's still sticking to my fingers a little bit, but at the same time, we don't want it too hard. Just keep kneading the dough. It's really easy to make mandazi once you know the technique some people put eggs which i should have put an egg but it's okay so if you really wanted to you can put an egg which i do at times but sometimes because i'm making this for some friends sometimes you don't know who's allergic to eggs and who's not but the recipe the other one i made in my creole channel i did add eggs so you can definitely put one beaten eggs in this. Matter of fact, when I list the recipes down below, I am going to put eggs optional, okay? But because I'm having some company on Thursday in the house, so I did not want to put eggs because I don't know who's allergic to eggs and who's not. So just like that, I am going to cover it with a towel you can use a damp towel if you want and let it sit for a good 20 minutes so the dough can rise so it can look, it can double hopefully and we can start cutting, rolling and cutting everything up. Now you want to grab some extra flour and um, flour your surface and I like to take the dough and still 
kind of knit on the surface. Kneading the door is probably the hardest part of this and frying the mandazis. Now I'm using my big rolling pan. Like I said, I hope the video quality is not too light. You guys be honest with me, let me know. And just roll. So I'm going to continue rolling it. You want it to be flat, maybe an inch, but you don't want it to be too flat. You don't want it to be too thick either. I could easily do this on my island counter, but I want you guys to see everything. So that's why I'm using this cutting board to do it. So I'm going to continue rolling because sometimes the camera can be a little shaky when I'm making movements. So I'm going to roll and come back and show you guys what it looks like. As you can see, I rolled it like pizza dough like, and now you want to grab a um, glass cup and we are going to go ahead and push the cup down. This is gonna cut out the shape. If you have a cookie cutter, a round cookie cutter, you can use that um, instead, but I don't have one because I don't do too much baking, but the glass work as good, okay? So just cut into them. You gotta really press down so it can cut. As you can see, my dough is not too thick. And of course, once we do the cutouts, we are going to roll the dough again, just to form it so we can cut out more, um, I hope my elbow and ashy. <laughs> Sometimes my elbow accidentally get on these videos and at times it's ashy because I'm just so busy around the house. Sometimes I barely leave, <laughs> but child, I hope it's not one of them ashy elbow days, honey. <laughs> so just like this. Like I said, sometimes the camera can be a little shaky when I'm making movements. And we are going to just peel this out or pull it out, put it to the side because I'm going to roll it again and take our knife and cut into two and then we're going to cut them into quarters. So this is the size of our mandazis. So that's why I call them mini mandazis. They're not big. So just like that. I'm going to continue to do the rest. Then we can finally start frying our mandazis. I went ahead and heat up my oil in a wok. I actually used this oil um, the other day to make mandazis. What you are going to want to do is put them in fairly quickly and you want to start tossing them because they will burn quickly. And if you start tossing them like this, they um, will have a chance to have a nice golden brown color before they are, they are cooked on the outside, but may not be cooked on the inside. You guys get what I mean. So I like to just keep stirring. As you can see, my oil is not super hot. This is exactly how we want it. Just continuously turn, flip them. I don't know why I say stir, as if we're making soup. But just like that. And they will start to puff up. My kids just love this quick snack for them. If they want a quick snack, they were obsessed with this when we went to Africa with them. Just keep tossing. Just like that. You can see they're starting to turn golden brown, but we want them to be a little darker because we want them to cook more so just keep turning them and they will start cracking a little bit. That's a good sign that they are cooking. 
when I first um, made this, the first time I made that, I just threw my dough in the oil and just let them fry. And you guys, they got burnt so bad before they could even cook. So when I went to Uganda this last time, I really took my time to learn how to make it. Still, I still did not get the dough. So then when I went to Florida, my um, cousin-in-law, he tried to teach me how to make it, but my dough was still not coming out the same. So I just said, you know what? I am just going to make my own dough the way I know how to make my dough. And you guys, it's been so good. My kids and my husband want me to make it all the time. Sometimes you just have to create your own little recipe. What worked for one may not work for you. Keep tossing. This is a good chance to go follow me. Good time, I should say, to go follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all my platforms. They will all be down in the description box. You guys can see how the color is just changing. So nice. Keep tossing. Even though it's a quick cook, but I guarantee you guys they will be cooked because it's, it's quick, but it's still a slow process. And they're not really big mandazis. If you want, you can sprinkle some powdered sugar on top. Whatever you want, you can make it happen. Okay. Looking pretty good. I'll give you guys a closer look. You guys can see. So now these are done and I am going to throw in the other batch. And then once I'm done, I'll try to come back with Marcus. They're outside playing basketball. I'll try to find Marcus so Marcus can taste and let you guys know what he thinks. Hey guys, I have something I want you guys to try. Check out Dante's little car, guys. It's taking off. Come try mommy's mandazi. So you guys can tell everybody how it tastes. Sit down. Sit on the back of the car. Okay. Have one. Have one. It's good. <laughs> you didn't even chew it properly yet. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. All right, guys. You guys heard it from the boys. This will take us to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys tried this recipe. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share. As always, continue to protect yourself. I love you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you guys.